Okay, here we go with my look at the 30th anniversary Iron Grenadier. So let's kind of move him out of the way here and let's get started first by talking about the little bio here on the back of the packaging. And real quickly, here's the front of it here. And you can see the artwork there, which I actually like, I think it looks pretty nice. And let's go back here to the file card and it says here, the Iron Grenadier, Elite Trooper, name not available, birthplace, various countries, and the primary weapon he has is the Thermal Reactive Anti-Armor Assault Cannon, and his combat gear here is the Bayonet Rifle with Folding Stock, Bipod, and Removable Clip, Pistol, Depleted, Ura uh, depleted Trunbinium Ammo Backpack, and Ammo Chain. So yeah. Anyways, it says here, Destro chooses Iron Grenadiers for their endurance, tenacity, and meanness. They expand his uh, armament business by spreading chaos, undermining authority, and encouraging disagreements, which increases demand for weapons that Destro sells. This trooper is part of the Iron Grenadiers heavy weapons support team. So that's just briefly his little bio there. Now, quickly about the uh, combat gear here, it's kind of misleading because it talks about the bayonet rifle, with folding stock, bipod, removable clip, blah blah blah. It actually doesn't come with that. Um, apparently, I wasn't really aware of this, but they did release this guy under the uh, Pursuit of Cobra line, probably like I think in the last wave that came out for that line. And basically what they did is they gave him the uh, rifle with the bayonet and folding stock and removable clip that came with the 25th anniversary Cobra Paratrooper. And I don't have the one that came with the original Iron Grenadier or the, the Pursuit of Cobra Iron Deer, Grenadier, but I do have the 25th anniversary paratroopers rifle here, which is the original. And you can see here it's kind of a blue, and I think the one that came with the first version of this guy, the Iron Grenadier, is actually a gray. But that's the weapon there. This doesn't really fold as much as it just removes from the the vehicle or not the vehicle from the weapon here like so the tail stock does fold up like that and this little magazine here is removable it just pegs right in there there's a little slot there for it and that does pop off rather easily so that's kind of a misleading thing there on the back of the packaging um, it does not come with this this particular weapon here and let's see if I can get that back in there. Actually, I got it around backwards. But this does come with the uh, Cobra Paratrooper. So if you have that guy, you could give him this weapon. And really, I don't think he really even needs this weapon. It's kind of uh, just out of place for what this guy is here, the Iron Grenadier. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of set that out of the way. And... Uh, so yeah, the bayonet rifle with folding stock, bipod, and removable clip. Pistol, he doesn't have a pistol. The only thing he really has is his ammo backpack and uh, ammo chain and then his main big huge gun there. So without further ado, let's get started talking about the Iron Grenadier here and his weapon. So here he is and let's just zoom in here and let's look at him up close. So pretty cool looking figure. now. Um, another thing I wasn't really aware of at the time when I got this guy, um, but basically I'm sure most people probably already know this, but I'm apparently late to the party here. Um, this guy is more or less just a, a remolding and repaint of the Pursuit of Cobra Destro. The I think it was version two uh, Destro that had like the big huge gun and everything like that on him. So basically they took that mold, put a different head on it, give him some different accessories and a new... Uh, color scheme and you know called it the iron grenadier which i guess is fine i find it a little bit of a disappointment that hasbro seems to be just cannibalizing previously released figures swapping them a, a few things out giving them a different color and calling it a new character I, I would prefer that they give us a whole new mold whole new design um and stop being so cheap as it were but that's just me i mean if this floats your boat hey you know more power to you but Having said all that, it's not a bad looking figure. I probably would be more hesitant to get this guy if I had the original mold, the Destro mold. Um, I would maybe wait to try and catch this guy if it goes on sale. I know the distribution on these guys is pretty crappy at this point, so 
I don't know, I guess waiting for that to happen would be, you know, kind of pointless at this, this point in time. But anyways, enough rambling about that. So here he is up close. I like the little shoulder pad here, the way it looks. And I like the head sculpt that he has here with the little gold accents on it. Unfortunately, his helmet isn't removable. There's no other uh, face underneath that. It's just one big molded piece of plastic. And there you can see his big huge gun here. Just kind of go out a little bit and get it on to focus here. Now, I don't remember correctly, but to me, this gun looks just like the guns that they had on the movie Aliens that the Space Marines used. Uh, the character Vasquez and uh, the other guy, I forgot his name, her boyfriend or whatever it was. But they had the big, huge machine guns here kind of mounted on like a steady cam uh, harness. So this looks almost identical, and if I look it up online, it probably is the same exact thing. So it looks like they based this off of that uh, design from the movie Aliens, but I could be completely wrong too. But anyways, um, as you can see here, he's got this big box here of ammo with the belt coming out. Now this is removable, and it does have a peg on it. You can kind of see it right there. So you can peg this in on his back here for his backpack if you want. And just kind of zooming on down here, or panning down. There's this little character stand with the name Iron Grenadier on it. And these little uh, shin guards here are removable. They just snap on here with these little round clips here. They're kind of a, a soft, softer uh, plastic, kind of rubbery-like. And let's just go back up here. And there's this big, huge backpack here. Now, the thing that's kind of stupid about this is the, is the fact that... It's kind of leaning forward there. This backpack here has a slot here for, it looks like, the ammo belt, but the hole here for it is, is smaller than the bullets here on, on this little ammo belt. So you can actually peg it in here, and it's just a big, huge, giant backpack. And it doesn't really sit quite right because of this little handle here that's part of his vest. And if I just kind of pop this off... You can see it here. So again, that's basically because they just reused this figure from the Destro one. So I don't remember if this backpack came with that Destro or not, but it doesn't look like it really did, and it kind of gets in the way here because of that little handle. I mean, it fits under okay. It doesn't fall out or anything, but it just doesn't look quite right. And honestly, I don't know what this backpack's supposed to be for, if it's supposed to hold ammo, but yet he's got this big one here. Uh, I don't know, you know, and if that is the case, they should have made it where you could at least put this here if you wanted. So, like I was saying, though, this one here does fit underneath his gun, or if you want, you should be able to just pop it off here. And let's go ahead and take this off. And you can peg this in here into his backpack. A little slot there. And maybe run this up and into here like so and there you go so now you got him with a smaller size backpack but something that's probably a little bit more realistic you know something that's not going to be super heavy um so that's what he kind of looks like there with with the you know this backpack here as opposed to being mounted on his uh, gun here actually i kind of like it like that myself but anyways um, this figure here, I'm, I'm, I'm a little torn on him because he does look cool, but he's one of those figures that's basically just kind of a statue, really, because he looks better just standing there. And he, because of his bulk and the weapon that he has, you're not really going to be able to pose him much more than what you got right here. I mean, he can hold this gun in both hands like so, but he can't really point it forward. It just kind of hangs off to the side here. You know, I mean, I guess if you tilt him like that, but... Even then, it's kind of ridiculous because of the shoulder armor here and the little vest that he's wearing. You can't really rotate his head hardly at all. It's just not a very well posable figure. It's something that, or something that you can't really pose well at all. So, you know, it'll look nice sitting on a shelf, just kind of sitting there like that. But beyond that, if you're trying to get him for get him into some cool looking poses or, or whatever, you're really not going to be able to do that. Just given the bulk of his weapon and this vest and this uh, shoulder armor here. And uh, speaking of the shoulder armor, you can remove it. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of disassemble him here and get his gun out of the way. 
Um, so here he is now without all that on him. But you can pop this off and this does kind of uh, impede his movement here on his arm also. So you really are very limited with the mobility of this arm when this is on. It does have some detail on the inside. I, I wish that when you pop this on here that it could actually rotate up more but it can't because it just hits on this corner here of his helmet and the little vest so it really just kind of makes his arm almost pointless or useless at this point and uh, let's go ahead and run through the articulation here real quick he has pretty much you know the standard range of, of motion for any of these GI Joe figures that they're doing nowadays but um, because of again this and his vest and the shoulder here and his head and everything it's just it, it starts getting kind of limited so can't really rotate the head a whole lot just a little bit forget looking up and down this arm's pretty much gimped out and you can rotate here here you can do the elbows you can spin his wrists he doesn't have the joint in the wrist like they're doing on some of the other figures so all you can do with either of these wrists is just rotate them um, the chest and torso forget it you're not going to get nothing other than just waist rotation here uh, because of the vest again and the thighs here or hips go like that and you can bend the knees double jointed feet rotate and fold up and down so you know he can bend he can pose but when he's holding his weapon and all his stuff on him a lot of that just kind of goes out the window which is kind of a shame um, I would have liked to have seen him maybe just give him something a little bit smaller a little more realistic not quite as big as this and uh, you know maybe get rid of this and you know he may have been a, a better figure in my opinion if they've done those those things but um, all in all it's, it's not a bad figure I mean if, if you like this mold if you like the design of him yeah go out and get him but I think again he's just kind of like almost like a little statue he looks good sitting on a shelf but you know for posing them um, messing around with it there's not a whole lot you can do and again be aware that this version the 30th anniversary version does not come with this weapon here even though it listed on the back of the package um, again I believe it's the uh, pursuit of Cobra version of him that comes with this so just be aware of that if you plan on getting this guy um, so would I recommend this guy yeah I guess he's he's worth picking up if you really like it um, you know again though you may want to try and wait and see if you can catch him when he goes on sale or something like that because I think some of the bulk of the figure and, and just the fact that he's more or less just a remold slash repaint of the Destro figure kind of takes some points away from that but all in all it's, it's not a bad figure so yeah if you like what you see go out and get him so anyways I'll wrap it up here with my look at the 30th anniversary Iron Grenadier figure <laughs>